house. I told you! He could have fucking killed a police officer! <laughs> Hit his head on the back of the fucking okay, table. Guys. Just a little experiment. <laughs> you guys knock it off. Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very God. funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Not cold, though. The Isn't he the guy that gets ago. his fucking... Oh, he was hiding yeah, behind the desk! He's been doing it all so. day! Acetic and hydride is In Mad Men, I think he gets his toe uh, ripped off because they're like, let's fucking drive a lawnmower in the office. Cool constantly. We used linseed oil. But you could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah. And they were using a hundred gallon vat. Well, we figured out what caused the explosion. Yeah. An Idiots. Ex an explosion. I bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. This is the plot to Die Hard, forming before our eyes. Sorry, Die Hard 3, Four forming before our eyes. I was about to say, I didn't hear nothing about no Nakatomi Plaza, but we did see a Japanese person. Yeah, they're in on it. I mean, you know you've made it if you got that desk. Do you? Yeah. Do you know you've made it? You know you've made it if you get the explosion desk. You're behind the wheel. Exploding it all over. All right. Where to? Where do you think? The house and Well, he doesn't have your case notes. Look at this photograph. No, oh, I love the version. Look at this graph. It just stops. <laughs> we gotta find Howard Hughes, like, like talking with a spy, and then shoot Howard Hughes and yeah. change history. Congratulations, Cole. You made history better. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Really? Well, we've been following a strain of bodies and nuclear explosions. And sexy Japanese ninja oh, warriors. This place stinks of petroleum. You want to get out now, maybe? Have gas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's not good. It's around the floor. This See, looks like a big trap. This looks like an action scene, ready to go. Ready to go. But it's not going to happen until I walk into the right place. Until I step into the right place. Which might be back out the front fucking door. <laughs> no, it's into the bedroom. God damn it, I have to make it happen, don't I? You have to make it happen. Yeah, I can't be smart and sneak around the back and be like, Yo, I know you put the petroleum there. I'm coming in from this side. Oh, that's... I no, can't it, do this smart shit right here. No, no, Wooly. I gotta do the thing that knocks over the lighter. You're basically role-playing as Oh, cold. Jesus! Scared me. Did you see that scary man? I seen it. Well, look at this. I gotta pick it up, huh? Oh, to Bahamas. Ah. Astro was flying today on TWA. From Miami. Angstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? I'm just cleaning up. And then... Uh-huh. Angstrom's passport. Uh-huh. Occupation's chemist. Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. Uh-huh. There you go. Yep. Now it's really an arson case. Oh, this is gonna be a failure. Shoot the gas line. Shoot the gas line. Shoot the gas line. What? Shoot the fire, Wooly. It's simple. Shoot the fire. Shoot it all. Where's the gas line? You blew it up. Jump out the window. He's in my way. <laughs> Good now job. Escape. Now escape out that window. Yo, you're dead, Cole. Wooly, what are you Earth doing? Which Earth window? That Earth window. Earth he got, he got out, no problem. What? <laughs> that didn't Oh my really? god. Come on. Really? At least he stuck around to see if he finished the job. And now he's running away from the job. Caught. I thought that bush was gonna kill you. Yeah, well, yeah. Arrest the bush. All right, he's How on the, the other side. He, yeah, he, he took a shortcut through some of the. Yeah, let's take a big left. Oh, oh there oh, he is. Damn it, we're too far. He's way, way, way ahead, man. Yeah, but you're catching up. Even though you took his car here. Yes. So I got the good handling. I feel like with enough. Uh, oh shit. 
I feel like with enough uh, chases that Cole does, he'll be like, you know, maybe we should install some type of shredding blades onto our wheels. Just in case. And Hearst is like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some shredding. Oh, blades. man, street gangs. Maybe. Oh. There we go, yeah. Wait, what? what? Yeah, jump, jump to it. Oh, I didn't do it. Why would he come back here? Yeah, that's the worst. Just kill him to death in, in the in the ruins of his of his failure. Hey, you have no reason to be driving all crazy like this. Oh, shit. Use security, man, Paul. Stay on base. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on there. What? Step on it, huh? We are sec- Oh! Huh. We are security, man. As men. close as you need. That was a real short tail. As close as you need. Or like as close as the game will allow. Look, his car. Oh shit! One traffic stop coming up. Who the fuck was he shooting at? I guess one of the other evil cars went by. Yeah, you killed the other evil cars. Because we have to chase him until he brings you to somewhere. Arrest, I guess. arrest that car. Oh, 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 that oh. Good. I, you, it's like football. That, right? was, that was totally a football. It was account. fucking football. Yeah. God damn it, he Barry Sanders. Like, cars me. kill thousands of people a year. You should arrest a few. Oh, that's definitely yeah. Oh, he fucked up that fire hydrant, you bastard. Oh, I can't catch him. Oh, well that that clarifies things. All right, well time to murder people. And not find her, not not get the truth. We're gonna have to go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, hey, Cole. Okay. We're fighting the goddamn military. These are not the military. While Wooly fights, I will... They are Howard thugs. Hughes's <laughs> personal military <laughs> thugs. His personal stormtroopers. Basically, yes. Howard Hughes, why would you do this? Oh, there's an evil car coming. Something good in the back? Something good in the back? No. Well, you have to usually be standing to get the stuff in the back. And then you hit A on it. Yeah. That was a little weird. You're a little far. All right. Sprint up. Good job, Cole. Peek -a -boo. Wait for it. Peek -a -boo. Is he not gonna come out? What an asshole. Why is there somebody right next to you? Oh, he's directly behind you! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit. God. He he drove up behind you and, and got, got out, out of the car. And we didn't notice. Alright, I, I moved forward a little too quick. Right Fucking here. whoops. This is kind of a big action set piece right here, I tell you what. We're gonna have to go through We're gonna have to defeat Howard first. Hughes himself? Yes. But luckily, you can just cough on him. It sucks for these guys. Yeah, it does. Because all they know is a bunch of dudes just showed up and started shooting at their boss. And they're doing their job. It's like when you feel bad for killing, like, a guard dog at, like, a base or something. No, you put those to sleep. You don't kill those. What are you talking about? Yeah, you feed them the sleepy breads. Oh, sleepy bread. Sleepy bread. That's what people did in Grenada. Uh, what? They they uh, they put uh, they feed dogs like. Uh, okay. See now the guy's behind you. Is he behind? See that car? That evil car? Oh yeah, that guy. That's the guy they got. That me. that guy was the problem. Tell me more about the doggy sleepy breads from Grenada. So basically, there was guard dogs that that, that protect property and shit, you know. Yeah. And what these guys would do is they'd put some shit on on bread and feed the dog, and the dog would go to sleep, and then they'd use that to sneak in. Yeah. Who is these guys? Thieves. Mad in town residents. Fuckers that jump up in your window and say, "I'm coming back." What would you put in a sleepy bread? I don't know, but they did it. I don't know, just some chemicals. What? <laughs> the fact that it loads in weird is that super weird. So okay, yeah, now you can get closer. You're gonna have to kill a lot of these men. Oh, 
Jeez, Cole. <laughs> this is an insane amount of bloodshed in a really, really public yeah. place. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's that's correct. Like the idea that they're gonna walk away from this with like no troubles is kind of goofy. Come on! Oh, he doesn't want to do it. Oh, there he is. You gotta. Let's go get his ass. His ass specifically. I picked a good gun. Yeah, you did. You did. You know, type right all over Chicago with this shit. Oh man. Oh no, not the guys that worked on the plane. They were all evil also. They're smart. I wish that girl was still in the office and when you ran through, he would have been like, hi miss. She's like, hello. Are you boys having fun? With the pop toys. Oh, we're shooting up the spruce boats. And that's why it never flew again. Ow. You popped him good, man. Kneecapped? Cole, do you rare, regularly carry, like, multiple drum magazines on you for your No, but gun? the guy whose car we stole does. It was your car. No, 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 that was the other guy's car. No, it was your car. It was, the, it was Herschel's green car. Only police cars have guns in the back. Well, it looks like we needed it, huh? This is, this is ridiculous. Also, I can hear a machine gun. Yeah, that's what they had up in here. Up in here? Up in here. There, that's the machine gun right there. Are there explosive barrels anywhere? I thought I saw some earlier when we investigated this place, but... Oh, that's why there were barrels. Who'd expedite the process? For explosions. Yeah, there's only two guys left, but they're in pretty good positions. Son of a bitch is dug in like an Alabama tick. I didn't see the guy you're aiming at. He's behind that pop. Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Whoa! He popped up right at it. I was about to run. Damn, Cole. Alright. Okay, that's much closer. Hopefully we can get a, a gunshot off. That's one down. One. So that's probably Mapes up there, right? Probably. I like to think so. Is that close enough? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see if you can pop him. You got him. That was assuredly Mapes. Or Howard Hughes. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be that would have really been cool. amazing. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. Shit. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before so he can manage it. we never get to see Tom McCall? So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Ah. Mapes. Right. right. I remember Vernon Mapes. <laughs> the guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps. But between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Yay! That explosion was so big, everyone forgot that where your dick went. Yeah. You got but, a nice little everybody. thumbs up. You see that? Got but a little, little, some little attaboy. Remember. Some people can still smell German. City damage should say like a million. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't cause that. That was just the case. I guess. But this is the case report. I'm sad we didn't get to see that Japanese general. Yo, she's out of here. She's gone. But yes, uh, I... I, I I was. I, I guess the numbers here only reflect what Cole does himself. Yes. And not yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. No, about very it. much big. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. Oh, you Why radiant. is it all blurry? That's weird. You, <laughs> just, depth of field just completely broke. Uh, you've been 
missing appointments. I'm this is so able. bad that she's here. I'm feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in This my fucking life. Leonardo DiCaprio. Like proto Leonardo DiCaprio oh, in, ca in Candyland. How has he coped with his from uh, oh, Django and Chain? This this dude basically. Just wait for him to salute the camera. Now you see here, I have a skull that represents Cole Phelps and his small policeman brain. You make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? To be fair, he's the one that's gotten away the most. <laughs> Considering he's super got away from everything, yes. Yeah. And I thought we were leading up to um, case, a girl name. Lou, he went Courtney. Along with me. It was all he Courtney all along. Smiling. In Cole's case, his friend, that girl's. Kelso? Oh, no, shit. No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Kelso! Good lie. Good lie, Fontaine. Big, 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 big. Policeman, too? No, he works for Police the district. Man. Oh, the district what? attorney. He's oh, a I see. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into like, It's cases. amazing that he still has an office. Oh, yeah. Fires he's investigating. And that it's not a burnt down crater. You look pale, doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. So cold. I think I'll close the window. Oh, man, I, I forgot. I forget how this case goes, but I wanted him to just, like, go to close it and then open the door and run. Basically, I remember, yeah. I remember Why are you chunks of it. at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Luke to work at Elysian Field. She's putting it together. Your fears are unfounded. Watch, he slowly I mean, goes around the room and locks mind. all escapes. Mm -hmm. She's just like, Z, target him! Why don't let him get behind you! He only attacks if he can backstab. I don't believe you, Doctor. <laughs> I've seen you with Monroe at that club. I'm sorry that you have Oh, I'm going oh, over to my morphine murder cabinet. Go over to my weapons case. I've always so enjoyed Blunt. conversation. She could see that coming a zillion miles away, Christ! I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate. Oh, here comes the arson dude. Oops. Ira! I, I, so, Jokes I love man. that he's about to get away with even more, and then it just goes bad for him. I've come to help oh, you. Oh, wow. <laughs> to help right, you cross yeah. over. We never found All Ira. All your sins will be forgiven. It's just like, yeah, no. Life. Caught up with you, huh? Is she okay? That was quite yeah, a yeah. knock on the noggin. But I don't know if it was enough. Well, like he, did he choke him out, or did he just choke him to unconsciousness? I can't remember. He it looks like he choked him out for good. Oh, man, and Ira's a big guy. He choke you out! A different kind of war! Los Angeles! Midget auto races! Speed away! Hey. It's gotta be one of these places. It's your kind of auto race. And, oh, and no one's going to talk come about on. no one, yeah no one's it was gonna... free <sighs> i prefer the term little person thank you i prefer uh, kickable it's a bug spray it's uh, no one's going to talk about that joints. giant explosion that crater that destroyed half the city don't worry about it uh in the case notes it just said the doctor is dead so look at that <laughs> you have no objectives track him down now, I know it's a gameplay thing, sure but the fact in the little case notebook Security is the number. name of the case. It's weird in this case. Like, that they would name it? It's bizarre. Jack Kelso's like, oh, I gotta think of how. Uh, different kind of war, yes! Can I change suits with him? No. Uh, I do not. I super doubt no, that. No, you can't. Damn. Just gonna steal someone's car for fun, so says Jack Kelso. I like this car better. Damn. Pontiac Torpedo. Alright, so where are you going? Yeah, why don't you look at the case now? Oh yeah, no, you have to go to the different exterminators to track him down. He didn't even change his goddamn suit color. Okay. I mean, I mean... That's weird how you had to get out. Yeah, it, it, that's what it Because it assumes you're gonna switch drivers. I'm still bloody, so is this right after? It must be right after. It's not so much bloody, I think it's just like bruises on his I don't have time to change suits. I really like slow exterminators. 
medium paced. We will get around to it. Give the bugs time to die. Yeah, give us something to think well, about. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's fucking Courtney. No. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking? Son? Oh, it's sure it fucking official bloody. or unofficial. That's what I'm saying. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of okay, yours appears it. to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You we sure? employ any cowboys. I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> don't <Jack>. need this. <gasps> Another newspaper. Oh, well, I guess let's see it. I mean. He says he's on your side. We shall see. Is that, Is that Courtney? Looks like it. This is so you weird. Got? You're looking at what Looks Cole's like doing this. in the Get away from other dimension. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Yes! yes! I knew this, work a case. I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. <laughs> hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? <laughs> this is getting out of hand. It's time to talk. Let him, let him hash it out. Now is the time to be quiet. Holy son. shit. <laughs> Courtney Sheldon Herschel's was like, this is awesome. Boy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him, and I will blow your fucking head off. Oh, that's awesome. You finally lost it, partner. Holy shit. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead. <sighs> and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. I don't want this case Stay anymore suddenly. The coroner gets here. Holy Make sure technical shit. <laughs> If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'm looking for you. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Your asshole isn't the dirtiest. God damn. Oh, it's so That good. had nothing to do with Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, what does that have to do? With nothing. Fuck it. All right. Oh, I guess there is one. I guess we there. missed one. Oh, well. You got 99.9% .9 of it. Uh, okay. I don't think there's anything left to do here. I nah. guess I'm not going back. It's the wrong, it's the wrong, uh, yeah. wrong, uh, bug, bug place. Nope. Said Time it. for a new car. Oh, rats, roaches, flies. We uh, got him in the back. Since, since he's alone, Jack is getting into this and he's going for why. Why would so, he do this? I remember reading a, uh, a massive, massive thread. I think it was on something awful or somewhere once about people complaining about uh, working retail, working phones, stuff like that, right? And pest guys have a disproportionately high amount of angry-ass violent customers because if the, pest, no, 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 if the pest problem comes back after you solve it, a lot of people assume that you planted bugs in their home. Oh, jeez. And will escalate to violence immediately. Oh, jeez. Welcome to Nuclear. What can I do you for? <laughs> I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator. Big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here. Me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. Well, that was easy. Uh, go back. To the desk. There was right before the conversation started. There was a da -na -na, but is that probably because it was the guy that? It might. Oh no, it was that stuff. It was the air horns. Well, these are probably useless. Look at those air horns. Neat. Flying mosquito murderers. Wow. So people planting. Greatest of years. People planting bugs is the real story, huh? Well, that's a that's an actual thing that really crooked places will do. Sure. I mean. Who wouldn't? Because you exterminate them, and then, and you, then, you, need then the you then you put a little petri dish or whatever of ants or some shit. Yeah, a little sex pad for the ants. God damn it! Why do you gotta get out of your? 
car, Kelso. Two hot rods will then burn the ants' reproductive organs off while a small piece of food is dangled just out of its reach. What is he talking True, about? this won't actually know. kill the ants, but it will give them plenty to think about. This is that, weird. That's some Game of Thrones shit. That's some dark-ass shit you're talking well, about. It's, it's that's like, the Mad King and then the Starks right there. It's more right like there. Saturday Night Live stuff. Saturday Night Live is very dark. I mean, we could, uh, yeah. There it was a computer generated infographic of this actually to happening the to the end. I'm looking for a big cowboy does extermination. Anyone like that working here? I'm a well, big cowboy. I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. I'm gonna we fuck you up, the man. Hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. That's a lie. Thanks. Why? Oh, I guess. Uh, I not. guess it's not a lie. How come no one ever lied? What do you mean? When they gave an address, they just never just made up an address. Because then you would find out the address back. was fake, and yeah, then you just come back it. and whoop their ass. And well, then he's gone. One, two, three, go fuck yourself, Boulevard. Hey, Rusty! You made it. What's up? What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his yeah, patient's room. Spine snapped. Ira's a big boy. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. Yeah. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. Fuck! Uh, hey. Hey. The nurse said that she hey. saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This okay, way. Okay, then why'd you stop me? Because he needed to finish before Cole ran in and fucked up the yeah, scene. Frankenstein I, stole your woman. I appreciate, like, another All-Stars case. I appreciate yeah. that Rusty, despite being an absolute piece of shit and not really liking Cole at all, calls him to help him out. Yep. <laughs> In the Take end, Herschel's the best. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. He's just so tired. Uh, properties you wanted accounted for, my associate has visited and made a thorough survey. Kind tells regards. Me. I gathered what an asshole. Oh, was having houses burned from Monroe. I have this guy, he burns stuff. Can, is that of any use to anybody? <sighs> I have a Look, uh, and, uh, and you can see him saying these words. Yeah. I gather these families and residents no longer require yeah. these yeah. assistance provided yeah. by our relocation program. Because uh, he's too classy to be like, I'll burn it. Burn him down. Burn it the fuck <laughs> down. <laughs> we don't need no water. Let the motherfucker better. burn. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Yeah, no. Say, the thing is about Leland is he's ruthless and he's evil, right? But, like, he's not... Like, it's bad business to torch a bunch of families. But then yeah. he starts... But the the guy he got was the guy who's doing it for fucking purity, whatever crazy reasons, <laughs> to send them on their way. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's not just a guy. He's not just an in-and-out person. Well, the, the first one was a big accident, right? Really? Yeah. But then after that, he's like, oh, so I think I'm onto something. Side. You know? Yeah. In, in, a, in a court of law, you can't say I did it because of purity, crazy reasons. You don't. You, you need. You don't. You need a. Oh, there's the final newspaper. Yeah, there it is. You did it. You I got all the all newspapers. You need a fix it, man. You don't need a, a goddamn pyro. The face of progress. That face that everyone sees all over. The time. Leland Monroe. God, that Thank smile. God damn pet lunatic of yours is burning down. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There we go. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep a voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them! <laughs> <laughs> I solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which, I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? Certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. That means it's too I late, idiot. I, I, you I did stuff to come home. Well, Leland's not shot in this, in this cutscene. No, I yeah. haven't. So this is before he attempts to Kelso fix works Kelso. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. Mm. It's no longer necessary. There you go. I'll take care of yeah. I'll take care of Jeff Yeah, Jeff. both of your plans worked really well. We're so genius. That, so that means uh, Courtney was dead for a while then. Yeah. 
See, I'm a bit disappointed because I was expecting this to go to a place where fucking, where the doctor was pulling out syringes like Dio's knives. Yeah. <laughs> Just morphine syringes throwing, yeah. getting, getting thrown at fucking Cole's face. Oh, hey, Arlen.